Hey, what's going on you guys? Simpsons Man here and today we're going to be doing another blind reaction mail day video and this one is pretty special. I got a rare Simpsons item all the way from Japan. So stick around, we're going to open it up and check it out. to dive right on into this and open it up. I just got this in the mail today and a lot of the items when I get them in the mail, I kind of wait a few days if I've got something else going on. I kind of put everything on hold just to make this video because I usually don't like opening things until I make a video and I'm gonna go ahead and open this right now because I'm super stoked about what's in it and you guys are about to see my live reaction to this rare Japan Simpsons items. Um, they did write the word top on here and I'm gonna be very careful because I'm not sure if they actually included the original box that it came in or not. Okay, so they did, they did include. So it's a box in a box, oh yeah. Hold on one second, you guys. We got that CC Lemon Box. If you guys know what this is, then, I mean, just by seeing that, you guys might already know what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and, there we go. Tear this top part. I'm gonna keep this box. Funny enough, I just did a little TikTok video about keeping boxes because there's just a weird thing about that. Some people don't like to keep the boxes and I just found that out and as a collector, I keep, I mean, I keep everything. I mean, I'm not gonna keep the tape and I'm not gonna keep all this trash, but I'm gonna keep the original box for every single Simpsons item I get because, yeah, I just, I have to. Like, you know, why in that, why in the heck would you not? Not even if you wanna just get rid of it, just for the fact that it's the original box it came in. All right, this has gotta be the longest video I've ever made for opening a, a box. There we go, all right, finally. Please don't let there be any tape on this. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna toss this over there. And here we have it. So, if you're a Simpsons fan, you're a Simpsons collector, you might already know what this is. CC Lemon was a lemon beverage soda in Japan and they actually did a collab and they did one with the Simpsons. I think this was around the year 2000. So we're gonna open this up just so I can show you. So I'm gonna kind of be careful with this tape because this is like the actual original shipping seat, the original shipping box that came in. So I'm gonna actually tear this right here. There we go. So the actual company that makes it is Suntory or Suntory. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced. Uh, they're a Japan company, and here is the beverage that it, you know that they made. It's CC Lemon. It's the refreshing lemon soda beverage. And first look. And you guys might have already guessed what it is by now. Got a little thing. But, let me do a little, a little slow right here. Hopefully it's in focus. But here we go. Focus. But here we go. Oh, hold on, the box actually came. But this is a lunchbox. So, they did a collab. They did the, oh, and it actually has some Japanese paperwork. Huh, don't know what any of that says. Here is the actual box that it came with. And you can just tell from just the graphic that this is old school. Like this almost looks like old, early 90s, but I wanna say they did this, yep, in the year 2000. You can see all the different CC Lemon beverages right there. I, I, man, now, now I gotta find the actual beverages to collect them, but you know, you guys don't wanna see a box. You guys came to see this lunchbox, and I have to be insanely careful with this because this thing is amazing. It's made out of, I guess like tin, aluminum, something. You can kinda hear it. I love, 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 love the green Simpsons. It almost has like the Treehouse of Horror vibe to it. And 
Really cool thing about this, it's 3D. So all the heads, you know, they're like, you know, Simpsons heads. I don't, they don't wiggle. Uh, they, I guess they kind of wiggle around a little bit. We're gonna open it up here in a second just to kind of look at the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you the back. This is honestly one of the coolest items I have in my collection. I know that's kind of weird or lame to say really because I have a bunch of different things, but man, just like this item alone, the craftsmanship like just how this is made the quality of everything just every little thing about this is just beyond amazing so i think these i don't know if those are supposed to come off or not these little little tabs right here i, I want to say they should come off i don't know i'm not going to force it right now but i'm definitely going to and look it even has man it even has you know the actual tag on it right here but look how awesome that looks just in the box of course i'm gonna keep this box of it this box oh wait there's so there's a box in a box in a box okay so there's three boxes total now i'm kind of wondering i'll probably i guess i will i guess i'll keep this cc lemon box now you know i just talked about not keeping this is kind of like the shipping box only but i think it would be kind of cool to keep so what i'll do is once i open up some more simpsons items i'll put those you know, like those empty boxes in this box and i'll seal it up so i thought i could still have an excuse to keep this but we have homer's catchphrase yellow <laughs> i guess that's you know the, and then cool is what Bart says, supposedly, and Marge, oh my goodness. So I can, I guess I can kind of see Marge saying that, but definitely Bart just saying the word cool, and then Mark, or not Mark, but Homer saying yellow, like, I, you know, I don't know if he actually says that or not. We are going to take this out. Man, this, this display box, and okay, so the thing is, like, you guys, I mean, you guys can see as much as you can see, like, just on the video, this is perfect quality. Like I can, like there's no tears. Like look at the curve on this. It's, there's no, there's no bend. Like this was, I, I mean, I don't know the backstory about this, but I guess, you know, this was in a box. I'm assuming this was probably plastic wrapped at some point because it is used. And I haven't seen, you know, I'm kind of looking at it right now. And you know, if you guys see anything, let me know. But I don't see any blemishes. There's a little, little mark, and I don't know if I, you'll be able to see this on camera, right there, just like a little, little mark, but the metal is just perfect. There was a little dust right there, that's all right. And yeah, I mean, this thing is like in perfect condition. I love it. So let's go ahead and open it up, because I haven't even, I don't even know what this looks like opened up. So I'm gonna be very careful with it. Give me one second here, because you gotta apply a little bit of pressure. All right, I don't know if it, I mean, that'd be cool if it came with a thermos or something. I have no clue what it comes with. Holy crap, it's really heavy. The top is really heavy, so I wanna show you. So I'm assuming that this holds your drink, maybe? So there's like a wire or just some, no, it's not really a wire, it's something. And then maybe you were to put your thermos or something right there and, and it stays in. I think that has to be it because the way it's shaped, it's like, it's got this curve to it. And then, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm being very careful with this. Cause like I said, this thing is like in perfect condition. It has, yep, hey, there we go. Hey, look at that, see, I was, I was right about something. It does show you, like, hey, there's your drink. Store your drink right there. If you could read this, cool, I can't. Let me know what it says if it's anything interesting. And it actually has, oh, well, I can't read any of this, but, this I'm gonna probably want to get uh, translated because it says congratulations and then it says all this stuff you know maybe like congratulations you purchased this um, I want to say this was some kind of a prize or something that you could have gotten so maybe that's why it says congratulations on there and once I get this translated maybe I'll do like some kind of like Google translate or something um, I'm gonna try to at least I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to just I'm really curious to see like what that says Go ahead and get so this is just like some of the um, bubble wrap it came with. I'm gonna very carefully put this back in. Okay, mm, there we go. So, man, the fact that you know it still has like these little tags, and if you can tell, like even this, like it looks like there we go, like brand new, like there's no wear and tear on it, there's no bend, there's no rips, there's nothing. This 
this see like i don't know if they do the wada grading on big huge items like this i know they do it on like comic books and like nintendo games but this has got to be probably one of my best quality items that i have in my collection like homer's got a little bit of just like the paint coming off his eye that's normal especially with funko pops or any kind of figures but i love the 3d heads uh, the funny phrases that they have on there. The actual white box is probably my favorite. I'm so glad they decided to do white and not like that traditional red or anything like that with the clear packaging over it because the way that this is displayed like this is just beyond perfect. It does have like a little bio about every single one of them and I'm assuming since it's all American then I'm assuming that underneath it is probably the uh, Japanese version of it. Homer works at a nuclear power plant. Despite being fired numerous times he has been rehired at the, for the same position. Homer has always been corrected and belittled by his father. He therefore strives to be as supportive of his own family by smothering them with indifference and vague endearments. As a result, Lisa feels left out and Bart acts out. Homer tries to make his family happy. Homer is a little pitiful, but a typical American father. Wow, what a what a crazy description for Homer. I'm not gonna go through all these because you know this is gonna take a while. Let's go through Marge, because Marge is pretty small. Marge has a characteristic hairdo, which is the tallest in town. Trying to maintain peace in her home, she is a kind and yet meddlesome mother. Sometimes Marge is run ragged because of Homer and Bart's screw-ups. Yet, as Marge would tell you, the Simpsons can't be choosers. Man, what a what a depressing but like so crazy of a statement. So I'm gonna just kind of show you Bart's. So pause if you want to. I'm gonna show you Lisa's. Pause if you want to. And Maggie, pause if you want to. I'm just gonna kind of check this out for myself just really quick. I just wanted to tell this about Bart real quick and then I'll stop reading this because that was pretty funny. He loves TV, but he has many outside interests such as eating ice cream in front of the weight loss center or perfecting the art of the loogie. Man, so, man, that's so awesome. And when I did a little bit of research about this, they kept calling it like an ultra rare Simpsons piece from the year 2000. And to be honest, like, I feel like it, I mean, I guess it could be kind of rare, but for it to be ultra rare, I don't think so, because if it's ultra rare, you're not gonna be able to get this on eBay at all. Like you you can't find that, you know, if it's ultra rare, it's gonna be very, very, very hard to find. Uh, right now, you could probably find this for about, I wanna say 130 or so on eBay. I actually got a steal and picked this up for $50. And I haven't, like all of the ones that I looked at recently over the past probably year or two, the condition was nowhere near like this at all. And they said that it was very limited in quantity. And I'm not sure the actual numbers, like if it was 10,000 made, 100, I mean, I mean 100,000 is pretty limited when you're talking about like reproducing a lunchbox. Um, it does reference it being a prize item, but I'm not sure if they mean that like, this is like a prize item as if you would win it in a prize or send off for it or a prize as in just like amazing, like one of a kind type of item. But um, yeah, that's it. I'm actually going to see if I can collect all of the, do you have the pop-up Kiata straps, I guess? Let's just collect them all. We got Homer, Bart, uh, Lisa, Maggie, and Marge. And then it says, push the button, characters' heads pop out. Let's enjoy and play with the Simpsons. So I'm assuming, yeah, we're not, we're not pushing these guys because they're not, you know, they can't do anything. But we're talking about for these drinks, I guess they push in, push out. It would be really cool to get, and I probably could find this on eBay, just like an empty CC lemon bottle, like from the, you know, just the plastic empty bottle, because I would love to just have that, even though it has nothing to do with the Simpsons, just the actual bottle, just to kind of keep in here. You'll probably never see it. Like I'll never probably see it because I'll never open it, but just to kind of have it for the collection, I think would be pretty cool. Um, but that's it. I'm gonna. I'll probably do a little fast forwarding at the beginning of the video, hopefully, you know, after you guys watch this, because I did, it did take me forever to cut the original box that's over there, but I did want to make sure that I did not cut into this, because this thing is from the year 2000, so we have 20 plus years that this has been sitting in here, just probably in some guy's garage or attic, I'm not sure, you know, I did order it 
uh, from the United States. So I'm not sure if that person acquired it in Japan or they got it sent from there or maybe they got it, you know, in the mail back in, you know, 20 years ago. I, I don't know, but I have it. I think this is one of the coolest things I have in my collection. And once I find a good place to display this, I kind of almost want to put it behind the case. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because of how big it is. The second you walk into my room, I bet you this is going to stand out probably more than anything. Probably the Pokemon rug that I have on the ground, the Simpsons, Homer toys. I, that one stands out because it's just such a huge piece. But besides like the blue walls and everything, I think this is going to stand out the best. Um, but that's it. Until next time, guys. Uh, thank you so much for checking out another one of my live reaction mail day videos. I honestly think this one's probably the best one that I've done. I've probably done about 15 or 20 of them. And this one I love the most because this actual item I love the most and I got it for such an amazing deal that it was worth it. Like I said, I think I paid around like $50 and like I think 10 for shipping. You're not gonna be able to find that for that price like anywhere. But thank you so much for checking out the video. And as always, if you like Simpsons reviews, toy openings, we're talking about Funkos. They just did a whole line of Funkos not too long ago. Uh, we're talking about the Simpsons movie too, possibly. Man, there's all sorts of stuff that we talk about on this channel. Obviously, it's all Simpsons related. And if you like it, hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe. I try to put out a new video two times a week, three times a week. I'm always putting shorts out every single day, three or four shorts. They're just about my Simpsons room. Uh, so check them out. If you get bored, just kind of go through the channel. I got them categorized. So if you want to watch like Simpsons shoes, or if you want to watch taste testings, different things about episodes, anything you want, just check it out. But until next time, thank you so much for checking out this amazing opening video and see ya.